Wasp Spot Reaction. I should enter the Raw Diamond segment. We're just going to get straight into this. It's 30 minutes long. Uh, this is a top 10 video, top 10 ghost videos that will give you the shutters, I believe. That will give you the shutters. There you go. I think this is Nuke's top 10 um, for Halloween, but he can drop it, he said, because of um, issues. So we're just going to check this out right now. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below, hit that, hit that subscribe button below, hit that bell for more notifications for me, and they will come to you. And let's get right into this video, you guys. Let's go. Check out this week, Nuke. So obviously, if you're a regular viewer, you know I love ghosts, creatures, critters, and basically all things creepy. Yes, just I do. as much as you guys do. And that's why I'm very proud to say that this video is sponsored by Shudder, a streaming Shutter. service for horror, thriller, and that. supernatural content. I personally have watched several really great Shudder original series and movies, like the great found footage film Host. You know, we've connected with something. We gotta keep going. We gotta <laughs> talk to it. The ultimate to... Halloween horror movie, Haunt. You still get better plays than them, though. And the amazing Shutter original series, Creep Show, which is by far my favorite horror anthology series. <laughs> now, when you sign up for Shutter, you get access to the largest collection of great horror movies and series available right on your favorite devices. Tell me a story. Something dark and twisted. Something awesome. And with a special deal just for Nuke's Top 5 viewers, get a Shutter 30-day trial completely free. Wow. Just sign Nuke. up with my promo code NUKE, that's N-U-K-E, that you can enter on Shutter.com. Now let's get into this week's Top 5, ooh, Top 10, Top 10 Ghosts Call hmm. on Camera. Top 10. The Haunted Hill House. Okay. The Haunted Hill House in Mineral Wells, Texas is said to be one of the most haunted locations in the U.S., with an over 125 year dark and troubling past, that doesn't come as much of a surprise. The home was once a haven for illegal activity. It served as a gambling hall, a bootlegging operation, and even a brothel. A it also operation. served as a makeshift hospital for over 50 years. Yikes. It is said that the Haunted Hill House is inhabited by the ghosts of at least nine people who Damn. lost their lives there. The Hill House can be rented out for ghost tours and investigations by interested groups and curiosity seekers. So one night in late September, a group of friends and family rented the Hill House just to have a little fun. None of the group were quote unquote paranormal investigators. In fact, many of them were doubters who just wanted to prove that the so-called Haunted Hill House wasn't actually haunted Pink Floyd, at all. Sir. Shout out to Pink Floyd. But that's not exactly how things went down. The house is said to be haunted by one particularly violent spirit that the house's owners refer to as Dr. Jaeger. One of the visitors, Victoria, lays down on the bed in one of the rooms and jokingly starts taunting Dr. Jaeger. Wow. It did not go well. Who would do something like that? Uh-huh. As Yanked. you can see, she was yanked off the bed. This was not a fall. Yanked. And then they ran out. We're going to rewind that and we're going to show you in regular screen. Yanked. So ladies go so long. Something seems to violently yank Victoria right off the bed as her friends look on in terror. The house has a static black and white security camera in every room and it catches the action as Victoria is pulled off the bed and the group makes a run for it. One of the guys is so shook. He even drops his phone and just leaves it on the floor behind wow. him. Now, cut to almost one hour later, around 3 a.m. A guy named Drew wants to test this alleged paranormal activity for himself. So he enters the same bedroom and immediately begins taunting the ghost of What do you keep Pope doing? Dr. You just Yeager. seen it happen. He says that the spirit is a coward and that if he really wants to attack someone, why doesn't he try attacking a man instead? Uh, Look at the guy in the white hat right here, guys. Follow him. Before I even finish my sentence, I'm in the air. Oh. All right, we're going to pull it back. Did you see he got pushed? So Drew got his wish. He is oh. violently shoved by something. And then he almost knocks down his two friends while making a mad dash from the room. Damn. It should be noted here that Drew has gone on record as saying that he will never set foot inside the haunted hill house ever again. But it gets the camera's where you guys are. I apologize. After Drew is pushed and he and his friends run from the room, 
something seems to yank the door shut behind them. If you watch closely, you can actually see the doorknob move as if it's being pulled. So is the oh, haunted hill house one of the most haunted places on earth? Would you go into that room and tell Hell the no. spirit of Dr. Jaeger? Let me know down in the comments. Invisible friend. TikTok user Luan, also known as Joshua Luck from Mexico, had a TikTok account dedicated entirely to his two-year-old son. Aww. Luan operates a general store on the first floor of his house that he shares with his wife and children. Wow. Then one day, Luan's video content drastically changes as his two-year-old son begins to claim that he sees what he describes as a terrifying invisible child. This alleged invisible child scares Luan's son so much that he often cries in fear. Luan says that he doesn't see anything, but he says he has experienced a few strange incidents with things around the house seeming to move on their own. Then late one night at four in the morning, Luan is awoken by unexplained loud noises coming from downstairs. Thinking his store is getting robbed, he records everything as he runs downstairs. Buenas amigos. Bajé, porque empezamos a escuchar ruidos y vine a dar una vuelta. Tenía miedo de que... No. Just I'm moving a haunted house, though. Yeah. No hay nada. Wow. Ah, oh, cabrón. ¿Si ¿Sí vieron? What was that? No sé qué pasó. Pero mejor me voy, le dijo mi esposa, porque esta chingadera se movió sola. Ya me está dando cosita. Es muy raro. For the first time, Luan captures something on camera that he can't explain. A chair moves on its own. Over the next few days, the unexplained activity seems to intensify every single night. Things fall off shelves without explanation. The family starts to hear whispers. And late at night, they hear a light tapping sound coming from inside their bedroom closet. One night when the knocking sound from inside the closet becomes terrifyingly loud, Luan once again decides to record to collect proof. <laughs> Dios mío, ¿qué es eso? ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Quieres algo? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Tú inventes? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Se abrió? ¿Se abrió? ¿Se abrió? ¿Se abrió? ¿Se abrió? ¿Se abrió? Espérate, cálmate, cálmate, cálmate. ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Te podemos ayudar? ¿Necesitas algo? Dinos, dinos. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? ¡Alúsame! ¡Alúsame! Espera. Espérate, alúsame. Bruh. Hell no. Get out that house. No, sé, no sé. ¿Sabes qué? ¿Sabes qué? No, calm down. Vamos con los niños. Vamos con los niños. Luan and his wife are lying in bed when the closet door swings open on its own. Then something seems to peek out at them from <gasps> inside the closet. Luan rushes over to look oh inside, God, but there's sad. nothing there. His wife seems me. legitimately terrified. Oh they take the kids and leave the home for the night. Of course, eventually Luan and his family have to return. So they decide to do an overnight recording session, hoping to catch some evidence of the strange activity in their home. What they capture is downright chilling. This one's good so far. This is a great one so far. This is all I remember. 
Did you see it? The one yeah. claims that his phone battery died right at the moment he captured something terrifying on camera. A face with glowing <gasps> eyes is staring right at them from the entrance of the Bruh. store. But the bizarre activity didn't end there. Oh my god. On another night, the one hears something <laughs> knocking on their door. He turns on all the lights and once again starts recording. No. Noches, amigos. Me toca la puerta. Look the MVP, este bro. He's sillón. the MVP. Se cayó. Como saben, me duermo en la sala, pues porque me siento nervioso. No hay nadie aquí afuera. También he prendido la luz. Pues para sentirme un poquito más seguro. Se escuchan ruidos. Se ha escuchado murmullos. Aquí en el baño. No sé si se da aquí. Como pueden ver. Está vacío. Vamos a por acá. Vamos a checar si de acá viene. No, está todo tranquilo. Vamos a ver si aquí de la tienda. Y entro en la tienda. Parece que aquí no es. Se quedan acá. Vengan, vamos a ver. No, aquí no son. Venga, se vamos por acá. No sé qué está pasando. Pero vámonos, venga, venga. Me siento nervioso, vámonos. As he pans his camera, yeah, I've seen it. someone or something with long dark hair seems to quickly move away and out of sight. But nothing compares to what happens on the night of October 18th. Ooh. When Luan goes to the restroom, Halloween, something man. knocks on his bathroom door. That's when things get truly bizarre. Amigos, estoy en el baño. Me está tocando la puerta. Me siento muy nervioso, no sé qué hacer. Voy a tocar otra vez. Esa tira de familia. Se ve una sombra. Wow. Dude, this is legit giving me chills. Chills. You didn't see that? Oh, let me go back. Something knocks on the door. Objects have fallen on the floor. Exercise equipment is moving on its own. But creepiest of all, as Luan pans his camera around his living room, in one split second, he captures a shadow figure sitting on his couch. The same couch that was empty only a moment earlier. Bruh. So what do you think is happening to Luan and his family? Dude. Is their home and store haunted Name by a dark move. entity? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. They need to move, if you bro. see a video that you think would be move. perfect for the top five, or if you have move. a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Watcher. The following footage was sent to me by a Nukes Top 5 viewer who wishes to remain completely anonymous to protect his job. So for the purposes of protecting his anonymity, I'll simply refer to him as John in the video. So, John says that he works overnight security at a well-known logistics company. He says that one night, a fellow worker at his job became overheated and collapsed, falling over a two-story high railing. Wow. Unfortunately, he did not survive the fall. Aww. Much later, that same night at around 3 a.m. in the morning, John says that he was doing what he calls, quote, camera patrol. Basically, just checking the footage from all of the building's inner and outer surveillance cameras. That's when he spotted this. Hey, what's up, Nuke? Um, hey. Can't really be having my phone in here, so I have the brightness all the way down. But I'm security at this place, and I am in the camera room where I'm having access to a lot of the cameras. And I just reported to my supervisor that I noticed someone just kind of like standing. Um, in the grass across from uh from the building and i wanted to show it to you um what so yeah kind of person or something i can't have my phone on full on the screen for too long but i'm gonna try to show you the two best viewpoints that i have um so yeah here's the first viewpoint so there they go it's that right there there's no tree, there's nothing there. Uh, there, there it is again. I guess she's standing there. And I left.
by my supervisor, Mo, by Mike. Our security procedure says that as long as no, as long as he's not going towards the door, then like we don't have to have any worry. But like, it's just been standing right there. It's to the right of my cursor. Yeah, Shot we see it. Right. <laughs> But don't keep going back and forth because you're gonna get people mixed up. Here, I'll leave the be like, this is fake. And like, we had a bad viewpoint, but like, there it is to the left. And like, this is a 24 camera, 24 frame, uh, 1080p camera, but like, it's so like dark and distinguished. So yeah. John says that the misty shape of a person was just standing in a nearby field. John says that he watched for hours. He says the figure moved slightly from time to time, but never came any closer. Perhaps even more bizarre, he says that he almost felt like the misty figure was actually staring back at him through the cameras. What if it's his friend that died that day? Abandoned. Popular Chinese ghost hunter King Ming from the YouTube channel O1 Supernatural Studio investigates an old abandoned house in Taiwan that has a dark past. As the story goes, a man and his elderly mother lived in the home. The man had a severe gambling addiction, and after taking all of his mother's money, he left the old woman all alone with nothing. Wow. Not even food to eat. That's messed up. The poor old woman starved. Rumors say that her neglected spirit is unable to move on and still waits in the house for her son to return. Wow. Ghost hunter King Ming hears some odd sounds and voices in the abandoned Man, house. Why don't you do that to but other than that, nothing much happens. That is, until he tells the sad story of what took place in the home. That's when things get downright chilling. <laughs> Ming doesn't see it himself, but his camera records what appears to be a pale translucent face peeking from behind a corner. Many of King Ming's viewers believe the mysterious face to be the elderly woman who passed away inside the home, it like an old woman still too. waiting for her son to return. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. It looks like an old woman. A connection from beyond. From beyond. Sarah Lee Sarah Sager, Sager is jokingly, jokingly recording, recording the live feed from, from their new security, security camera, camera as her boyfriend, her boyfriend Stacy is outside their apartment in the dark, struggling to get the new camera installed. But even as Stacy is outside installing the brand new security camera, it captures someone who just shouldn't be there. I'm video recording him. Is that a raccoon? Hey, I just seen a fing something. Really? Hi Stacy. You look scary. Did you see it? No. A woman appears behind Stacy for a brief second and then disappears. Oh. And Sarah captures it all on her phone camera inside. Stacy says he saw no one outside while installing the cam. But what makes this footage even more bizarre is that the figure has an eerie resemblance to a woman named Teresa Tingi who lost her life in 2008 under absolutely oh tragic circumstances very near this apartment. After discovering the shocking video, Sarah learns that the deceased woman was actually friends with her sister. Sarah feels that this possible connection to the spirit might have been Bro, the reason that she was able to no capture the know. entity on video. So did Sarah capture the ghost of Teresa Tingi, still wandering the streets where I'm she sure lost her life? Are. You decide. Bro. Lost in the cemetery. This one is creepy. Back in 2015, Enzo Alonso from the YouTube channel La Ruta Occulta visited a cemetery in Chile while doing research about a boy who allegedly predicted his own death. Enzo suddenly hears footsteps on his left. He turns his head, but no one there. Cut to years later, Enzo is going through his old footage when he discovers something truly chilling. A child appears right behind him at the exact moment he says he heard footsteps. Even creepier, the child's skin seems green and discolored. Enzo claims that there were no children at the cemetery at the time of this recording, 
Certainly not any that look like that. He says that he and his friend were completely alone. There's so, is so it a ghost much call on evidence camera, in this one. Or just an elaborate hoax. A very, very strange hoax. You can check out Enzo Alonso's YouTube channel, La Ruta Oculta, for more creepy paranormal investigations. Hi, Jumper. Nuke's top five viewer Tobias Olsen recently reached out to me about some very strange footage caught on CCTV at his old job at a trampoline park in Sweden. After the park closed for the night, the building's alarm system went off without any reason. Confused by the alarm, the team checks the security footage, and they are shocked by what they find. So those just walking by? What appears to be a dark shadow moves across several security cameras. Now it's worth mentioning that these cameras are located 13 to 16 feet in the air oh, and are separated by a distance of almost 100 feet. So nothing or no one could have moved across those cameras at this speed a giant. and at this height. So what could this mysterious shadow have been? Is it something supernatural? Or just a very specific pattern of odd camera glitches? Let me know what you think. Halloween haunt? Or really haunted? Mm. The old Truella Hospital opened in 1953. It was so severely underfunded that the hospital didn't even have a morgue for its dead. Bodies were simply stacked in an unrefrigerated room. Uh. These days, strange things are still going down at the old Tuella Hospital. Sound See, a condemned caskets. section of the hospital is now used as a haunted Halloween attraction, called mm. Asylum 49. Many workers and visitors have claimed to see a terrifying shadow apparition that they call, quote, the man in black, who is definitely not part of the Halloween attraction. YouTube ghost hunters Ogden Paranormal investigated the abandoned hospital turned Halloween haunt and caught something downright creepy. Note that in this clip there is a mannequin of a character from the TV series American Horror Story that is a part of the haunted attraction. But the mannequin is not even remotely the scariest thing in this room. Oh. Yeah, I know I told that lady that. Bruh, I couldn't do it. Did you see it? Some strange shadow appears to be peering at them through the glass, but then just disappears into thin air. Oh yeah. So did Ogden Paranormal catch the infamous man in black at the haunted old Tuella Hospital? You decide. Eyes in the dark. Ghost hunter Sandro Silva from the YouTube channel Casa Soba Natural and his team members are invited to investigate an allegedly haunted farmhouse in the countryside of Brazil. The family that lives in the home claims that an old man haunts their farm and has made it nearly impossible for them to stay there. They hear loud unexplained sounds in the middle of the night and see shadows throughout their home. But creepiest of all, they often see the old man who haunts their home just sitting quietly in a chair in their house. As Sandro and his team begin their investigation, they hear an odd sound. Something seems to hit a drum in one of the rooms, not once, but twice. Almost like something is trying to get their attention. And then, things get truly bizarre. Meu Deus do céu, cara. 
Ah, sim? Eu sou... Nossa, são fichos, tipo, arredondo, mas eles falam, mas a porta mexeu. Did you see it? Yep. The team right hears there. the creaking of a door that seems to be moving on its own. But what they don't realize is that someone or something is watching them from the dark. A figure wow. with glowing eyes can be seen staring at them from behind the corner in the farmhouse hallway. When the video went live, YouTube viewers immediately pointed out the strange figure. But to this day, the creepy farmhouse lurker remains unexplained. You can check out the full video over on Sandro Silva's YouTube channel, Bruh. Casa Silva Natural. Why not leave? It's that the unwelcome easy. roommate. Lainey and Ben are a British couple who say that their home is haunted by a very Lainey. active poltergeist. They For two years, story. they witnessed I, I, objects I moving channel. or falling on their own. They felt the touch of something that just isn't there. Bruh. Lights flicker randomly and for no reason. And they hear odd, unexplained sounds Lainey and, and voices. Creepiest of all, late one night, Lainey says that she woke up and saw the apparition of a woman standing at the foot of their bed. But it wasn't until the recent global lockdown when Lainey and Ben were forced to stay at home that the activity became so frequent that they decided to share their experience on TikTok and YouTube. Okay, so just briefly, um, this is a mess, but it, this is my bedroom. And I've just been sat here just scrolling briefly. Now, every now and then, and you can see where it hits. Oh my God, it's just happened again. This thing, look, I'm just showing sure you. There's nothing pulling that open. Every now and then, I'll come upstairs, and this is what's happening. That door just opened on the same. I saw it as well. <laughs> Um, and this is what we come down to. Covered in an absolute <laughs> estate. Hang on. Oh my god. Did you see that? Oh my god! It's <laughs> off. Ben, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> After doing some research, Laney and Ben discovered that the land their new home was built on <laughs> used to be an old burial site where several skeletal remains were found during construction. The couple says that they don't feel the presence in their home to be aggressive right now. But the paranormal activity does seem to be becoming more extreme as the weeks pass. Oh, look at him, man. Look at him, man. <laughs> this is a salute. His toys that we spent 30 quid on at the start, he won't play with them like this. <laughs> He's not interested. Man, he's going number one in the town. That's he's crazy. Lying about, he loves it. I think it was. <laughs> this book's just come off this shelf, and I blame. <gasps> I blame you. Why? No, hang on, hang on. Before I blame you, got... you. Why? Oh, it's broken. Why? I blame you because you were asking for something. Yeah, about an hour ago. Then, after all that, one night things get truly bizarre. You gonna speak or not? Should yeah. I do it? All right. That door was like it was shut, but not on the latch, and it's just like this. Like, yeah. So, um, oh, what the yeah, fuck like, is that? But I've got a lot of comments because I sent you to go and deal with this covered door, and now that door's triggered. So, and I'm not, I'm not down for that. <laughs> what in the? F That's just scared the out of me. What the f I'm gonna say that there's something toued to that. Look under the fucking table as well, showing there's no f in it. I'm not down for that. That's a dishwasher under the, well, you know, unit, washing machine. Where can somebody be hiding? Oh, that was me. Oh god, you can't even see up there. 
Jesus. An empty water bottle flies across the kitchen, startling both Ben and Lainey. Lainey snatches it up immediately to prove that there are no wires or strings, and Ben reveals that there are no accomplices hiding in the kitchen cupboards. To this day, the couple continues to share their creepy experiences on their TikTok and YouTube channel, yep. hoping one day they will find more answers to their mysterious haunting. Be sure to check out Lainey and Ben's YouTube channel or TikTok for Did future they updates. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want a free 30-day trial at Shudder.com, be sure to use the code NUKE, N-U-K-E, and drop me a line on Instagram or Twitter to let me know what weird and creepy stuff you're watching, and see you next week. Hey, Nuke, after 10, you're going to see us next week, huh? All right, that was dope. I love it. I got to get this edited because I got to go. If you guys like my reaction, do me a favor, hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button down below, hit that bell for notification for me, and they will come to you, and I will see you guys in the next reaction video. Peace out.